So Ross Benton on YouTube says, um, is there any items that you can only buy in New Zealand and not in the USA? First up, a bit of a caveat. I think you can buy everything uh, online nowadays. So there is most thing you will be able to, in some form, shape or way, find in the USA, right? So you will be able to find uh, to find most of the item that we're going to be talking about online, but it would be much easier for you to uh, be able to find them on uh, or in New Zealand rather than finding them online. Um, but uh, but. With that in mind, there is still a bunch of items that you may want to get uh, from New Zealand and bring back home uh, just because you like them a lot, because they remind you of your trip, or just you have something which is really local and fun. Um, so there are some items which are going to be uh, kind of very typical New Zealand. There are just some items which are kind of a New Zealand version of something. And the first one I'm going to be starting with is Whitaker's Chocolate, because we love chocolate. Yeah, so Whitaker's is a brand of New Zealand chocolate, which is really easily found in all supermarkets, probably all convenience yeah. stores as well. It's kind of like the number one chocolate brand in New Zealand, and they do huge blocks of chocolate with all sorts of different flavors and fillings. They'll have all your standard sort of like hazelnut chocolate and... But you want to get hockey pokey. Yeah. What, ho what's hokey pokey? Hokey pokey, well, this is um, what New Zealanders basically call honeycomb. Um, but they lovingly call it Hokey Pokey and make it a big New Zealand thing. Um, so yeah, Hokey Pokey has like little, there's little bits of honeycomb within the chocolate, which is really cool as well. And then they do some sort of, um, sort of uh, real kiwi, other like sort of link with other brands that are really New Zealand like, uh, one of them being Lemon and Pyroa, which we will move on to now. Yeah, so uh, LNP, Lemon and Pyroa, is kind of like the New Zealand version of the lemonade. It's a New Zealand version of a Sprite. It's much more yellowish because it has much more lemon in it. It has this little kick uh, to it. Uh, it's actually from the Coca-Cola brand now that they bought it, so, so yeah. You're from the USA, Russ, so here you go, product from home. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so uh, they say that the water from the town called Pyro, which is what the P is for, uh, makes the whole drink taste uh, a little bit different. So lemon and Pyro, LNP is another unique product of New Zealand. All right, next up, basically anything with the All Blacks on it. <laughs> so um, for anyone that doesn't know, I don't know if that such a thing but if anyone doesn't know the All Blacks are the national rugby team of New Zealand and it's something that New Zealand are very proud of and yeah there are a lot of All Blacks memorabilia to be seen across New Zealand so you can get yourself like a rugby shirt you can get yourself a little sort of stuffed kiwi birds wearing All Blacks rugby shirts um, honestly you can find just about any any type of souvenir with which has the All Blacks on it. And yeah, that's definitely something you can get in New Zealand. All right, so next up we have uh, Maori carvings. So um, those are very kind of traditional ways to do carvings and uh, and they usually look really, uh, really awesome and intricate. You can find that in a lot of different souvenir shops. Um, it's something that you can actually do find online as well, but it usually if you get them from a smaller kind of places and from the cover itself you get the story behind it as well um, they're very uh, very often ornated with power shells which are those kind of like blue and green and shiny kind of shells that they use for the eyes for example um, and so yeah they're really unique and very much a New Zealand thing speaking of that power shells are also something that you can almost only find in New Zealand which are those uh, well, shiny shells that I just described, and uh, you make necklace, pendants, earrings, and those kind of things and out of it. Yeah, <laughs> they're used a lot for ashtrays. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Um, another food brand that you can find in New Zealand, which you might not be able to take home with you because uh, <laughs> it will melt, but this is an ice cream brand called Tip Top. Um, this is very easy to find again in supermarkets. You can also go to sort of like tip top ice cream parlors and get your scoops of ice cream, which yep. I have to say in New Zealand, they are pretty generous with the ice cream scoops. Yep. Um, that could, the same cannot be said for uh, where I come from in the UK, but when I came to New Zealand and saw how generous they are with their scoops, when you usually ask for one scoop, they, they usually just give you two anyway and yeah. they're like, they're usually pretty big scoops as well. But yeah, Tip Top is a brand of ice cream in New Zealand and they do 
tons of different flavors, including Hokey Pokey. Like I said, it's the yeah. honeycomb thing they're very proud of in New Zealand. And again, they do Hokey Pokey ice cream too. Yup. Um, now, as for items, I'm going to talk about a whole range of clothing. So there is a brand called Canterbury or Canterbury of New Zealand. And that is uh, basically a sports kind of clothing store, uh, clothing brand, sorry. Um, it, its logo is like a three red dots with three kiwi birds on it. And um, yeah, they, they do a lot of like rugby, cricket, those kind of, uh, those kind of outfits and, um, and sport equipment. So yeah, so you can get sports gear as well as sport clothing and that is very typical new zealand i uh, same thing i think you are able to find those kind of things online nowadays it's not something you can just find here yeah. but it's, it's a cool it's a cool memorabilia to get yeah another item relating to clothing or a clothing brand from new zealand is icebreaker which actually robin's wearing now and um, so icebreaker are a merino wool brand and merino wool is very popular in new zealand because there are a lot of merino sheep um, and yeah, they there's so, so consequently there are a lot of merino wool brands, and probably one of the more premium brands because their clothes are quite expensive is Icebreaker. And ooh, Robin likes to wear Icebreaker, and he, he likes only the most expensive yeah. clothes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean the, the merino wool, the Icebreaker wool is one of the best. And it so is. yeah, so merino wool and uh, is something that we really that New Zealand exports quite a lot. So Icebreaker and merino wool in general is something very kind of typical New Zealand. Yeah. All right, next up on the list is Greenstone or Punamu. So Greenstone or Punamu is uh, is a very specific type of stone, which is uh, it has a lot of significance in Maori culture and it's very often used to do some carving, very often it's for, for necklaces or, or those kind of things. You can carve your own and you can watch some videos of us carving our own, uh, which is quite cool. We've done that twice during New Zealand's biggest gap year. Or you can find that in a lot of different gift shops. And, uh, and yeah, it's a really uh, fun stuff to get. So. Here you go. Uh, alongside with that, uh, New Zealand is also famous for a really, really awful food, which is this disgusting yeast paste. Yes. For Hitlera. So, um, yeah, one of the sort of popular foods in New Zealand is something called Marmite. Um, and there is a, a New Zealand brand that does Marmite called uh, Sanitarium. Um, and they basically do like breakfast products and you can find them in again in all the supermarkets in New Zealand. But yeah, the Sanitarium Marmite would be a very kiwi thing to get. But the thing with Marmite is that you either love it or you hate no, it. No, 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 no. You can tolerate it because your parents <laughs> fought it on you for your whole childhood. Perhaps. Or you hate it. <laughs> That's the only way. Marmite is the wrong way to start your day. Yeah. <laughs> that should be the. But you can always you can bit. always get yourself a jar of marmite uh, and try it for yourself. See, is it something that you know oh, is gonna change your life for the better or maybe for the worse? It definitely <laughs> will change your day for the worst. Oh, it tastes. Oh, it's basically a paste made out of yeast that they just and spread on toast. It's oh, black. God. It's like the color of tar. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like putting tar on your toast. It's very very strange. I still don't. I don't get it. I have to say, oh. I don't get it. <laughs> I, I am against it. I, yeah. uh, it's not that I don't get it, it's that I campaign against this item. Yeah. Um, so yeah. All right, and so probably the last one and uh, one of the most popular things to bring back from New Zealand. Um, same thing, you can find that outside of New Zealand. There are some brands that sell that internationally, but it's expensive and hard to find overseas, is Manuka Honey. Yeah, so Manuka honey is um, honey made from, well, bees that, you know, go and pollinate the Manuka plants, um, which is a, a native plant of New Zealand. And it is renowned across the world for its um, sort of medicinal purposes and uh, that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, it's apparently very good for healing wounds if you spread it on yourself, but also really good for your immune system or if you eat it. It's honey, is, it tastes good. It tastes I know, sweet. you would definitely want to eat it. <laughs> But yeah, the, the, it comes in different strengths as well. Obviously, the sort of stronger and more intense the Manuka properties are in the honey, and um, that's the more expensive it is. Um, but yeah, Manuka honey is always a really good thing to get in New Zealand. You can get it outside of New Zealand, but I think the prices outside of New Zealand are even higher. So yeah. it's generally better to get it in New Zealand to get it for a better price. Um, but yeah might as well if you're in new zealand there you go so that is a bunch of probably 10 or 12 uh, things that uh, you you can only 
find a New Zealand quotation mark right here. Terms and conditions apply. Uh, it's, it's the you can probably of, still find it. <laughs> it's the edge of the internet. You can yeah. find everything everywhere nowadays. Exactly. But but you know that you be more prominent in New Zealand than somewhere else. I hope that you guys find that useful. If you did find it useful, and if uh, you know you had the same question as Ross, well, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you do have questions of your own, put them in the comments of any of our videos, and we'll be here to answer them at some point. All right, let's go back to live chat.